Cool. Hi, everyone. Uh, how'd that first week go for you? It was pretty cool over here. Again, spent lots of time grading papers, reading over y'all's responses. Um, and it's been, you know, pretty fun. Been reading a lot and hanging out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So you probably opened up to week number two and you saw this video and you clicked on it. Great job, kid. And you're brought to, well, this video is kind of weird, right? I'm filming the video, so it's got to get close. Anyway, so uh, you also clicked on this PowerPoint and this PowerPoint revealed itself to you. Okay, so this is where we're starting. I belong here, I am loved, and I will learn. I also left a little song for you, uh, which actually shows up later in the lesson. Okay. New slide. Monday, oh, there's that song again. Monday lesson, please start with this video. Again, that's me talking, so if you open up the slideshow first, here you go. Okay, uh, so here's a brief overview of the things that we're doing today. This is Monday, remember, on the block schedule. So it's more of a longer period today. So the work is going to come out to an hour and 45 minutes as opposed to just an hour. Uh, but don't worry, I think I walk it through pretty step by step. Okay, so we're going to start with a daily affirmation and a review activity. And then we're going to watch uh, the recap lesson from week one. Then we're going to do two activities. One's on the geography of Africa and the other are characteristics of imperialism in Africa. And then by the end of the day, you'll complete the book of war uh, activity. I really highly encourage you to finish everything by today because what I'm going to do on Tuesday is read over every single response, leave feedback, see what we need to do, see where we are. And um, because we're doing this new block schedule, I'm only releasing Monday today. I'm going to use the information I get from your um, assignments from today to see how we go moving forward. Okay. Okay. So uh, we go to week two. We have these things open and we know we have our daily routine. So let's go through that really quickly. Uh, I am strong, intelligent, and disciplined. Can y'all say that with me on three? One, two, three. Oh, come on, guys. I can't. Come on, y'all. I can't hear you in the back again. One, two, three. Awesome. Well done. Proud of you guys. All right, uh, so our College of the Week is Cornell University. This is my older cousin, what a handsome man, Matthew Perzanowski. Uh, he's actually a professor at Cornell. And the average GPA there is a 4.05. The ACT average is a 31 through a 34. And Cornell is uh, 39 hours away from Santa Ana. Daily objective, by the end of the period, or Monday block, right? Students will critically assess the geography and history of imperialism in Africa in order to draw connections to a modern interpretation of the exploitation of African people and resources. And here's our question of the day. Um, of all the songs you have ever heard, which do you believe has the most powerful lyrics? Wow, that's a really hard question. It took me like five or more like 10 minutes to actually answer this question because I thought about all the songs that have been really powerful to me in my life. And there's quite a long Spotify playlist of songs that have been really important to me. Um, but I settled on this one by Arcade Fire, which was the song of the day because of this lyric. Uh, now you're knocking at my door saying, please come out with us tonight, but I would rather be alone than pretend I feel all right. Wow. I always thought that was a really powerful lyric. Okay, now that our um, I've done that little affirmation, you guys can go and put this information in. All right, so daily affirmation is daily affirmation right here. Here's the info for the College of the Week. And here is the question of the day. Please answer that and hyperlink the song if you want me to. I'm always listening to new things. Okay, now here's the second thing you're going to do. Please go ahead and open this video and you'll see that it's um, me right here. Okay, so what I want you to do is watch, oh, <laughs> watch this guy up here really quickly and he's going to take you through the review questions which are down here. Okay, so again, go here, watch this video. I'm going to pause this video right here. Please watch this video, complete these questions, and then start this video again once you've finished, once you've finished, once you've finished watching and answering these questions. Okay. See you in a second. Okay. You completed the review assignment. So um, now you're on to activity one, the geography of Africa. I want you to go to this website. It's National Geographic, which is an excellent source of information, something we'll be using uh, quite often in our study of world geography. You'll see there are four questions. How many countries are in Africa? The population of Africa will double to blank and so on and so on. 
Now, this isn't a busy work activity. This isn't me just sending you into the, the nether, you know, the really hard place to find information. This is you learning how to sift through multiple sources. Uh, so what I recommend that you do is maybe do control F. Okay, so I can do like trade partner. Oh, and see, it tells me who the top trade partner in Africa is. That helps you with answers uh, questions one through four. Okay. You'll see I also put this at 15 minutes. Uh, I believe this activity should take you roughly 15 minutes to do. Okay, uh, second question, right? And, and those timestamps are up here too, right? So uh, I think this routine will take you eight minutes. This video should probably take you seven minutes or so. Um, if you take this pre-AP extension, it'll probably take you an extra 10 minutes. Challenge yourself, right? Take it on, it's fun. All right, so second thing, you're going to go to this link, uh, the Scramble for Africa. And you're going to answer the questions um, here. Now, I'm not just sending you, because this is a very dense video, right? Like, like, it's not, you know, there's a ton of info super quick. And so I think it's important that we ground ourselves in knowing that. And so what I do to help you out is I actually give you the time markers. So you see how it says 000. Basically what that's saying is here you see it says 001. You're going to play from where it says 001. all the way to get to 0015 and watching that 15 second segment will allow you to answer this question. Now, if you know world geography, you can probably answer this question already, right? Uh, but for these other things, um, it's 15 to 35, 0.45 to a minute 07, and so on and so on. Okay. Uh, now, what I would actually recommend that you do is just watch this video straight up minutes zero through five first. And if you can answer these questions, go for it. If you need to dive back in, uh, you can do that as well okay. all good stuff okay now you're ready to move on to activity number two so we talked about the general geography of africa that is um, what makes it unique geographically and now we're going to talk about what makes it unique in terms of its history with imperialism and we know that africa has a an extensive and rather um, unfortunate and bloody history with imperialism so we're going to the same video and we're using the same sort of idea, right? Go to, in the video, in the video, where it says a minute 30, and play it all the way through to 2.15, and you should be able to get this, uh, the answers for these questions, okay? Same here, same here. It's all it's all pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, number two, it says pause at 2.20 and go to the slide on question number 12. Now, um, change this <laughs> there we go slide number 12 um, this is something called the triangle trade now this is important because the video doesn't actually refer to it this way but the song we're going to analyze at the end of class book of war or books of war is all about the triangle trade and the triangle trade is the system and you can see it's sort of this is 220 it looks like a bit of a triangle same here um, Europe supplied things to Africa in return a certain Thing came from Africa to the Caribbean islands and then and North America generally and then goods were traded from North America to Europe in question number two I ask you to tell me specifically what did North America and the Caribbean islands receive in the triangle trade the Caribbean islands are you know uh, we'll just say they're part of North America for this activity what did Europe get in the triangle trade and what did Africa receive in the triangle trade it's important to know who received what in terms of imperialism this will come up in big ways uh, we talk about South America on, on Thursday. Okay. And then you just answer the question, so on and so on. Uh, the question at 9.30 to 9.55, I think, is a fair question. You might have to play it over like three or four times because it's like this country and this country and this country and this country. But I do think it's a valuable exercise to know who had a claim or who might still have a claim um, on Africa or at least the history thereof. So um, make sure you're onto that. Okay. Okay, so this is Books of War, which back to the question of the day is, you know, probably one of the most powerful songs I've ever heard in terms of the lyrics. 
especially because what happens with RZA at 256. So you can listen to the whole song multiple times if you want to, that's fair enough. Um, but if you want to jump specifically to 256, this is when RZA comes in and um, his lyrics are all about the history of imperialism in Africa, right? Every, every line here, it's, it's fascinating. It literally took me an hour to go through and I looked up every name. I was, what, is, what do these things mean? And the history and the, the things that this guy is doing is really incredible. Like I don't think I've ever seen such dense, clever, poignant, relevant writing. Um, and I studied poetry for years in college. So this is, this is really good stuff. Um, and so I'm going to pause right here. Uh, I'm going to make another video and post it right here about how to actually analyze the song and the expectations looking for in this exit ticket. Okay. Love you all and see you in that third video and bye.